CU is even going to pull the upset. Do you believe? So all you haters can kick rocks. You know I hate the Dallas Cowboys. They suck. This is Philly. I think the Giants are going to miss the playoffs this year. This team is not going anywhere. I wouldn't put no money on it. And she's already accused two men of this. Now a third. And next week, I got some more information for you that's going to blow your mind. They're going to be Cincinnati in week one. If you haven't liked, subscribed, and shared, please do that now. We really want you on the team. Get in the comment section. I answer everyone. And we also notice about 74% of you guys watch regularly or daily, but you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. What's taking so long? We want you on this squad. We want you to get in the game, talk a little smack to us down there, anything you want. NFL, college, any team you like, you challenge and debate me, and we're going to have that conversation. The haters, come on with it. I mean, I got people telling me I'm a newbie and I should not have a channel, kick rocks, all these kinds of things. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, I, I'm a thug. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a gangster because I, I cheer for Colorado. I hear it all, and, and, and it's good fun. I don't take it personally. You can come at me, just no cursing, and we'll have a great comment section. So Florida will upset Georgia if Florida runs the ball 35 times or more, and they are effective at running the ball. That is without a doubt. I see it coming a mile away. Now, Graham Murch, the quarterback of Florida, he's already beaten Tennessee in a big matchup earlier in the year. He outdid Joe Milton, and it was the running game that started it all. They were effectively able to run the ball on Tennessee, which took the pressure off Graham Murch. And then he was able to facilitate the ball everywhere, and then the blowout was on. And the, the adrenaline, the, you know, the, the, the euphoria, the action of the moment took place, and Tennessee crumbled. Now, I don't expect uh, uh, Georgia to, to, to crumble because they've just been in too many big games, and they've got the coaching, you know, and you got to give them the coaching advantage. But Carson Beck at Georgia is just not that guy. Now, I'm just thinking, I'm looking all over the place. Florida has the talent on offense, on defense, and the quarterback is comparable enough to be able to pull off this upset. So you need two things to happen. One, Florida has the man up on their rushing defense. They just have to have an outstanding performance on the run defense. If they do that and they can force the game into Carson Beck's hands to Georgia quarterback, you'll see Kirby Smart is in trouble at that point because against South Carolina, he realized it. South Carolina was stout enough to stop the run. It put Carson Beck in a jam where he had to throw the ball and he just couldn't do it. He couldn't get the ball downfield and they were losing going into halftime. Her Kirby Smart came out at the half. He made it clear to the offensive coordinator that the young kid couldn't handle it and to take the pressure off of him. So Georgia won that game, but they won it on jet sweeps, reverses, uh, RPOs, uh, a lot of swing tosses to the, to, the, to the running back, a lot of zero fat passes right there in, in to the wide receiver's and to the running backs, and I think maybe he threw two balls downfield the entire second half, and then Georgia got the win. They just did it with the rest of the team talent. Now, Florida has already been in a big game this year, so it's not going to scare them. Florida is at home, so they have the crowd and the energy on their side. They've already beat a ranked opponent. So they're not going to be afraid. They're in the SEC. They're used to playing Alabama, Georgia, LSU, and everyone else. So that's not going to scare them. It's just a level of play at quarterback. So let's look at Graham March's numbers, and then we're going to compare them to Carson Beck's numbers. And we're going to, we're going to let you see for yourself that this quarterback play can take place and it can help Florida win this game because their quarterback can handle it. 
So the first thing we see, Graham March, the quarterback of Florida, has thrown for 1,897 yards. That's like 1,900. Then you give him 12 touchdowns. He has two interceptions, that's all, and a 70 QBR, which is 39th in the entire country. Then if you were to put that up against Carson Beck's numbers, it's not too bad because Carson Beck's at 2,147 yards, so give him 2,150, and they give him 12 touchdowns, but he's got four interceptions, and he's got a QBR of 81, which is 15th in the country. Now, you take the talent uh, disparity between Georgia and the rest of the country, and you say, well, I would expect them to have more yards than that, more touchdowns than that, and a higher QBR, because, I mean, they have talent everywhere they have the coaching you know they have the experience and that kind of quarterback play is not as good as you would expect it to be on a team that you think is going to win the national title or go undefeated so just in my opinion after looking at the quarterback stats knowing that it's two sec teams so there's going to be no shock and fear factor here they're going to get florida's best shot florida is at home They've already beaten Tennessee. You know, they've been in the big games, and they got something to prove here because Florida was rising in the ranks. Everything was looking good, and then they stumbled. Their early success hurt them. Kentucky caught them sleeping and then gave them a, a, a good shellacking. And, and since it's been a few weeks, now I think they got their attention back that, hey, you're only as good as you are when you win. If you don't play to your performance level and lose, no one cares about you. So I think that message came clear to them, but I don't think that Georgia has realized that yet. Now, they're squeaking by, and they're squeaking by because Kirby Smart, the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, they're making it happen. They're making it happen with coaching right now. But at some point, it becomes about the players on the field and, and them making it happen. So I do not like Michigan, and everybody knows that. But I think that kid, J.J. McCarthy, is more clutch, has more DNA genes in him that says winner than Carson Beck. So if they got into a squabble with Michigan's talent, I would think Michigan could get them. I'm starting to believe in McCord at Ohio State. That was a tremendous win on the road at Notre Dame at night in that environment and to pull it out. So the young kid's starting to show that he's got it. I would take Ohio State to beat them. Penn State, I'm not sure yet. I'll know today once they go into Columbus if they can beat Ohio State and their young quarterback stands up to the pressure and plays well, oh, I would definitely take my Penn State Nittany Lions to beat Georgia then as well. So the upset is coming, and I'm picking it to be this week. 